Here is a man who was conferred with the Honor Summers Award by the Watermill Foundation Honolulu for his filmmaking with a sense of social commitment, combining technical skill and creative finesse. He was conferred with the Seva Ratna Award by Sri S.D. Sharma, former President of India, for being a monumental example of Indian cultural heritage. He has several national and international awards for his films to his credit. He is a recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award from the U.S. International Film and Video Festival and more recently a recipient of the coveted Padma Shri Award from the President of India. Felicitate my old friend Mr. Krishna Swami, whom we affectionately call Babu. The uniqueness of uh, Babu's effort has been that from the day one he had an objective before him. He did not go into filmmaking for money making. He made those films which were historically important, culturally significant, and also leaving a message for the nation. Swamiji looked at Indian history in the same way that Pandit Nehru looked at Indian history. The first very important the cultural artistic geniuses like Krishna Swami interpret history. One of the things about the work of uh, Dr. Krishna Swami is that uh, he is not superficial in his uh, sweep may be wide ranging. He took on an astonishing variety of topics, big, big issues spanning the economic, social, political, cultural, aesthetic and indeed literary dimensions taking an interest in citizenly things. I want to salute the independence and integrity of uh, this man of creative distinction. Underlying these uh, this large oeuvre, this large lifetime's work, is a theme which goes well beyond the confines of cinema and actually occupies the entire civilizational space of our country. So this is an inheritance which brings art together with the making of our nationhood and with the preservation of our nationhood. Cinema vile miga oyanda pari virudha karada padavudhu Dada Sahib Phalke Award ondrudha. And the virudhu inda 54 55 varangalaga kadai padangal adha future films seyandha varangal dhan kodukkapattu varugirathu. And the paris peruvadarkku ivar migum thagudiyanavar. Great human being of great nobility, humility, warmth of heart, decency. When circumstances due to national policy made me drift away from science, the driving seat of Krishna Swami Associates as head of the company came to me on a platter. Hypothetically, if my husband was making commercially oriented escapist feature films, conflicting with sensitive social interest, I would have rejected this offer and preferred to remain a homemaker when I had to give up science for reasons beyond my control. On the other hand, if my husband was a get-rich-quick businessman offering me even the throne of an empire, I am sure I would have quietly walked away from the scene. But here is a man who quenched my intellectual and creative thirst, strong in his convictions that his work should be fresh breeze to enrich culture, enliven society, enlighten people, a man with gender sensitivity who respects women. I began to tread his path. While his professional achievements are awesome, he comes out as a very, very warm human being who has a genuine concern for anyone who is in conversation with him. He carries his reputation rather lightly and has time and care for social welfare. I would like to congratulate Dr. Krishna Swamiji 
and he must be nominated to Rajya Sabha as a member of Rajya Sabha. So I think um, um, Dr. Krishna Swami has uh, has made a, made a great contribution. We have been had the misfortune of our history written by uh, Western conquerors of this country. Uh, we now need uh, Indians to write a history about India uh, through an Indian perception and uh, his uh, contribution in the Southeast Asia would merit, in my opinion, his decorating Padma Bhushan and Padma Vibhushan. Maybe, you know, I think you deserve Bharatanda much more. And I would say Krishna Swami and his family, they are the modern yogis, I would say. I will not uh, hesitate in calling him a yogi. Because Swami Vivekananda wanted such people who are devoted to their nation, their culture, and that passion, uh, that is the mark of a yogi.